Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, December 12th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is Alchemy of my inner truth will set me free. And we are looking for that freedom as we build into this full moon. We have a full moon happening tomorrow, Tuesday, in the sign of Gemini. Um, full moon is in the sign of Gemini. And as we build into this full moon, which the full moon, you know, is an opposition of the sun and the moon, um, we have a bit of a mutable square, mutable cross going on, helping prepare us for an opposition, helping us find that centering energy, the centering energy of our inner truth. So today we have a mutable T-square or mutable square going on um, with the signs of Lilith. In Sagittarius, <laughs> we'll holding down that fort, opposite the moon in Gemini, and then the nodes, the north and south nodes, finishing up this square energy. Also, Neptune is playing a part of this. And anytime we get into these mutable energies, we get into the energy of changeability, and we get into the energy of knowledge. I find the mutable signs to really be the knowledge keepers in various various functions, like Virgo really is about reality and the physical body, and uh, Pisces is really about spirit, bringing in the spirituality, bringing in the unknown, and then Sagittarius and Gemini are like rounding it off, collecting the knowledge of these things, putting these pieces together, learning from uh, scholars and philosophers and teachers, and then learning from connections and life and the people around us. And so that all rounds out these mutable energies. So we're collecting from all these different levels. And sometimes when you're collecting knowledge from all these different levels, you get pulled in multiple ways. And it can kind of feel like, I don't know what's true anymore because I learned this from this and this from this other thing and they're kind of conflicting and this is a call to fall into your center to fall into your inner truth now with this what's beautiful about these mutable squares is that it's so great to collect information from all of these resources but then what we have to do is remember <laughs> remember to find that inner fire within the inner truth within and take these things that we learn alchemize that inner fire that we carry within from these things that resonate with us and then let go what does not resonate at this time it doesn't mean that it may not come about at another time and resonate with you but if it's not resonating with you at this time then you know Put it aside on the shelf. Read that book at another time. Bring in that information at another time when maybe it will or maybe it never will. But falling into the center, falling back into your inner truth is what is important in this energy. And look what I have right here. I have the schizophrenia card. And so this full moon, as it's bringing up our emotions, as it's tuning us to our intellect being in the sign of Gemini, as we work with this um mutable square, mutable cross energy, fall into the center, fall into your inner fire with this because otherwise you are going to get confused and pull out of your center. And you know what, if that happens, that's okay too. You know, we get pulled out of our center. Sometimes we have to go around, you know, the mountain to learn our lessons. So if you get pulled off center, that's fine too. Really just keep attuning to yourself. Where's my inner fire? How does this connect to my inner light? How can I alchemize this information to work with myself? Where is my inner truth? Because it keeps coming back to that soul fire, that soul inner truth. Um, so moon in Gemini, attuning us to mental vibrations, attuning even our emotions to a mental vibration. Moon in Gemini is an interesting place because when the mind and emotions get together, they can work together in really beautiful, harmonious ways in our life. It can also get confusing at times, though, too, because sometimes our mind starts thinking things, and then suddenly, because we're thinking these things, we're feeling these things, and our mind has created this story. And so it's really important in this energy to be aware of the stories that you're creating with your mind at this time and really recognize what feelings they're generating in you and if these are stories you want to generate and bring out into your life. I pulled a card for myself right before um, this recording, and in it, it was talking about, you know, reality and how we are always creating reality and what realities are you creating and are you so attuned to the reality of what is right now that you're, you know, creating more of it or are you also attuning to the reality of... I don't want to say 
what could be, because I believe this reality just as much is, but this other dimensional reality of what is really true for you, your heart's desires, that soul passion. Are you attuning to that at the same time and allowing that to come in? Now, it's beautiful because I felt really drawn to pull a card from this deck today, the Inner Child Fairy Tale Tarot. I never get that. I had to, like, dig to get this out, and the universe was like, pull a card from this, pull a card from this, pull a card from this. And what I pulled is the Robin Hood card. It's the Guide of Swords, so it's the Queen of Swords. So it really has this strong intellect energy, but still there's that feminine yin quality of the emotions. And what I love is this ties in so well to the moon connecting to Venus. Moon in Gemini, creating connections, being a messenger between one another, and then um, Venus, Venus in Aquarius, which is tuning us to our worth in society and the worth of society and being a humanitarian, the Aquarius humanitarian energies of community. And what it says in here, I was like, oh, this is so great. During a time of government corruption and political intrigue, Robin Hood and his band became the symbols of justice, humanitarian service, and goodwill. The Guide of Swords represents the true merging of understanding the cleverness and loves for one's people or community. Um... Let's see. Then it talks a little bit about Maid Marian and that whole thing. Um, in this card, Robin Hood reveals the sword of truth by his side and the arrows of higher consciousness, which, consciousness, got that card right there, <laughs> and goal orientation in the quiver on his back. He has just retrieved the gold from several rich aristocrats that it had essentially stolen from the poor by overtaxing and burning them. When Robin Hood is present in your reading, be determined to follow in his footsteps. Seize the initiative on your life path. Help the needy. Be generous to the poor. Teach others about the values of justice, fairness, equality, and honor. Explore the forests and learn to live in harmony with nature. Remember the ancient adage, the truth will set you free. So I believe between these connections and this card, this is really a call to get involved by you know, your inner truth, to lend your light, lend your light to society. First, you've got to fall in, <laughs> fall into the place of your heart. Get clear in your consciousness of what it is, how you want to lend and bring forth your light. But in this full moon, there is energy, there is action of energy available for you to step up in these ways. Now, this being said, we've got the moon squaring uh, Neptune as part of this, you know, uh, mutable cross. But... What I get from this energy is like you may be looking so closely at reality and all the things going on in reality around us right now that for me when I look too closely at reality, I get overwhelmed. Don't be like, I'll be over here in my bed with my cats where like I'm safe. <laughs> and so there may be, you may be looking a little too closely and it may be pulling you outside of your center. This is a call for healing, a healing of your light, a healing of yourself. So you may have to take that quiet time so that you can then step up in the way that you came, in your divine order, in your divine passion. This connection is happening at a nine. That is the element of passion and action. So we have this energy that's encouraging us to step forward, but there may be healing needed at this time. So really be willing. Don't get pulled out by my words being like, take action, be Robin Hood. I'm not telling you to go steal from the rich, to give to the poor. That's not it. But I'm telling you, align with your truth. Align your reality, your actions with the truth. Fall into your center. And from the sacred symbols energy, I have the morning star. And it says, this situation is in alignment with your higher self. Meditate on the symbol to access your higher power when having to make important decisions. You can always orient yourself north to the morning star to make be assured that you'll make the decision for your highest good. So this, to me, I'm just seeing like the morning star within you, your solar plexus within you, that light within you coming in, falling into that light. Um, the morning star is the brightest star on the dawn's horizon, considered to be an important spirit. Um, let's see. Uh, the Plains and Great Basin Indians honored it as a sign of courage and purity of spirit. That's where we want to go, into that innocence, into that purity of spirit. Away from all the shoulds, away from all knowledge, do this, this is right, this is right. What is the purity of your inner light? So, 
this is what's coming up as we're building into this full moon. It's a lot. It's always a lot with the full moon. You know, the full moon brings forth the emotional energies. It gets us to process. It gets us to feel. And we need to be in this feeling energy. So get in, feel, and then find your, find your true north. Find your center within. So that's it for today. I have reading sales on Gaia Blooming. If you want to work with me for 2017, you can also email me if you have questions about that, mimiclark at gmail.com or check out gaiablooming.com. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.